In this video, we will go over the CX310's new home installation procedure, version 2, or what we call HIP V2. HIP V2 combines multi test locations and allows the user to save them under one file name, which can then be uploaded to the VXR server. Before we can go over the HIP V2 test feature, we need to make sure that the CX310 is up to date with the latest software. To verify the latest version of software, you want to go to the utility page of the CX310. To get to the utility page, you click the upper right corner arrow. This will display the V icon on the bottom left of the display. When you click this icon, you will bring up the utility page. On the utility page, just click about. And in here, you will see the software version. The CX310 must be running software version 01.01.006 in order to perform the HIP V2 feature. To get back to the main screen, just click the red X, which will show the number one SLM button on the bottom left. You click this button, which brings you back to the main screen. And you always wanna make sure that you have your function buttons on the right. So you would want to click the arrow on the top right to expose these buttons. To start the HIP V2 test, from the main screen, go to the bottom left icon of HIP V2. You click this. This brings up the selecting of the profile for the head in or location where you are testing uh, what system to use. So here you would click on the arrow, choose the location or the tests that you want to perform. In this case, I'm going to choose the install and you hit new. Once you click new, you now need to provide uh, the job ID. To do this, you just go to the job ID, click on the area and input the job ID. Click apply and then the account number for the job. Click on it, add the account number. And click apply. Now you're ready to start the HIP V2 test by clicking next. Three icons will now appear. Each of these icons represents a location for the HIP V2 test. These locations will have an indication or indicator at the top right corner of the icon. This indicator will let you know if the test is required or optional. R for required, O for optional. To start the test, just click on the icon or the location that you want to test. We will do ground block for the example. Once you click it, the next screen will show a series of tests that will be performed at this location. For the purpose of this video, I've activated all five of the test suites at this location. The first test is RP ingress or return path ingress. This test will check to see if there's any ingress coming from the home into the plant. To set this up, you would disconnect the RF to the customer's premise and connect the meter at that location to measure anything coming back from the home. Once you get your meter connected, click next to start the, the scan or the test. This test will take approximately 15 seconds. You could watch while the test is being done by clicking details and then clicking back to the screen 
But once the test is complete, it will give you a result and go to the next test, which is channel scan. There is an action required being that we had to disconnect the RF and hook up to the home. So now you must reconnect the RF signal back to the home and connect to where you can measure the RF signal coming into the home. So once you get your meter connected, you just click next to start the channel scan. Once the channel scan starts, in progress will appear and you can click on details to check the status of the test. Here you can see that it's already measured some of the analogs and is now looking over the qualms. To go back to the main screen, click back, takes you back into progress. Once the channel scan is complete, it will give you a result and move on to the next test. Now that the channel scan is complete, you get your results and the test moves on to the next test called OFDM check. If you are running a DOCSIS 3.1 system and have an OFDM channel, we will connect to the OFDM channel, analyze it, provide data, and give you the results. Now that the OFDM check is complete, you get your result and we move on to the cable modem check. Cable modem check will go through the connection process of the cable modem and provide all the data for that cable modem connection. Again, like all the other tests, you can just click details to watch the status of the connection or the test. Then to go back, just click back. Okay, now that the cable modem check has been completed and our results are posted, the next test is the V-test. V-test will test the throughput rates of the cable modem connection at the location you're testing. Here we can also go into the details to check the status of the test. Okay, now that V test is complete and the test results are posted, this location test is completed. To continue, you press next. Now we're at the main HIP V2 page. Here you can see the results of the ground block test that was just performed with a green check indicating it's a pass. Next, the technician would run the CPE test and continue with this account. For the video, we'll go ahead and end this test and to do so, once all tests are complete, you click Next. Next will show you all your test locations and results. From here, you can either save it directly to the meter or save it and then upload it to the R server. In this case, I will show you a save and upload by clicking Save and Upload. This will bring up the save screen. We will auto tag it with the time and date, or if your company chooses so, you can provide a location name. Simply hit apply. The results will show the job ID, the account, tech ID, and the tech name. To complete, click OK. Now the saved result will be uploaded to the server. Once complete, just click OK, and the test is done.